Slugs are a real problem in Northwest gardens, and if you garden, you probably know that. This is a clump of daylilies that I was dividing, and unfortunately I had not put any bait down. You can see the damage that the slugs have done to this plant. For me, the choice that I use in my own garden is Cory's Meal. I like it, and always read and follow labor directions, but you just want to put it lightly around the plants on damp soil, so evening is an ideal time. If you prefer not to use meal, there are pellets, and there's also Cory's Deadline. Look for the meta label on all Cory's products. Moen Machinery prides itself on its history and their 60 years of doing business and serving the community. They welcome the opportunity to earn your business and provide the Moen Machinery tradition of excellence. Kubota tractors are designed for those who demand more. More power, more versatility, more value. Whether you work in the backyard or the back 40, there's a Kubota tractor that's just right for you. The staff in Moen Machinery has years of skilled experience. Let their experts put you behind the wheel of a new Kubota tractor today. Moen Machinery, from the farm to the garden, your first stop for quality equipment. Does your lawn suffer from winter damage? Now is the ideal time to rejuvenate your lawn. Nature Zone has the lawn seed mixtures that are right for you. It's easy to do. Just prepare your lawn. Apply the seed and keep moist until germination. Choose from three types of lawn seed. Nature Zone Premium Perennial Ryegrass Mix, Nature Zone Sun and Shade Mix, and Nature Zone Shade Mix. Give your lawn that golf course look with Nature Zone Lawn Seed. Available exclusively at your local Fred Meyer Garden Centers. You can really live the difference at Willamette View, where whole person wellness for your body and mind is at the center of Portland's premier senior residence. Our just open wellness center offers state-of-the-art fitness equipment, indoor pool, and programs for residents' mental and emotional well-being. You'll love our wellness lifestyle and the views from our landscape acreage on the Willamette River. Discover the difference for yourself. Come see why Willamette View has more to offer. Well, this weekend, I think one of the destination points for gardeners is Clark County Fairgrounds. With me is Mick Shutt. Mick, there's a big event going on today and tomorrow. Yes, there is. It's what? the Clark Public Utilities Home and Garden Idea Fair. How it's, many years? This is number 16. 16. Wow. And what is this? What are we going to see garden-wise? Well, garden-wise, we have about 80 nurseries uh, with plants for sale. This is put together by the Specialty Nursery Association of Clark County. It's one of the largest plant sales in the region and a very popular feature of the show. All right, and it's on today, Saturday, from when to when? Uh, it will be on from 9 until 8 today mm -hmm. and tomorrow from 10 to 5. And admission? Admission is free. Uh, parking is $5 per car, and we do ask for a canned food donation uh, for the local food banks. All right, now, the specialty nursery of Clark County, that group, that is a group that would be smaller, independent, growers that you might not have another opportunity to get to talk with them? Uh, that's correct. Uh, they, they do do some other plant sales, but this is their big thing in the spring. All right. And, and they're there, the growers are there, so you can talk to them, uh, get tips on how to do things that a lot of us don't know how to do, unlike you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but aren't there, in but, addition to that, there are some uh, um, gardens, display gardens? Yes. There are uh, eight landscaping ex exhibits that have been put together this year. Uh, they're always fabulous and, and really a highlight of the event. All right. To me, and, and I'm always over there on my KXL show, that I love going to see all the different specialty vendors because there's so many in one place. There are, and they, they do have a lot of very specialty type items that you don't find at a lot of other nurseries. All right, and real quick, in case it's raining, this is undercover, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Well, that's a good thing that most people know. <laughs> that's right. The, the uh, plant sale and the landscape exhibit is in the, what's normally the horse arena at the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. It's a great building for that kind of a, uh, an activity. And then we have the rest of the home show and the exhibition center. All right. So we have a few outside exhibits, but most everything's undercover. Undercover. Okay. And now we're going to go talk to one of your exhibitors. Uh, he's going to give us a garden tip. Michael Stuckey from Millennium Farms. Good. And here is Michael Stuckey from Millennium Farms. Michael, these are a little strange looking things here. You're going to give us a tip on what they're for. They really aren't uh, alien gardenware, Michael. All right. They really are uh, a method we've uh, discovered to really help the plants grow a lot faster here in the Northwest. These are like tomatoes now. Or peppers. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, all your heat loving vegetable starts all right. need more heat than we can give them here normally. Unlike the south of the Midwest where the nighttime temperatures can be fairly warm, and that's the most critical time for the vegetables because that's when they grow. Here in the Northwest, it's very rare we have a summer where you have the 75, 80, 85 degree nights that the soil and the roots in the soil really need. Okay, so these are tomato cages. Tomato cages, basically wrapped in saran wrap. 
to make a cheap, inexpensive, but pretty sturdy and very effective greenhouse. Okay. Uh, what it does is it traps the heat during the day. You have ventilation holes here uh, on the sides or with this type on the top so it, the transpiration of the plant uh, won't be affected by the heat during the day. And then to, to add more heat during the day, you can put in water bottles. Oh, Just plain right. bottles of water. If you can put in some coffee or another dark liquid that stays in solution, that would be the best because that will uh, accumulate more heat during the day. But the key is having the heat at night being trapped by your right. greenhouse and then the roots stay warm and dry overnight and that's when the plant grows and they'll go two or three times faster. Okay, now this is really upside down, I would think. Right it is, wrong. it is. Okay. Normally when they come and you use them like this. However, uh, because of their shape, the pyramid shape, it works just perfectly to have them upside down, wrap them from the ground up, and then have the top be open for ventilation. And you said this is really good for peppers. This size is really good for peppers. You could also perhaps use it for an eggplant. That's probably a better size for eggplant. And this would be for tomatoes. And the square ones you really need for the pepper, for the tomatoes because they grow so aggressively. Okay. Great tips and something that's inexpensive and anybody could do it. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. So Mick, let's kind of wrap things up here. The show is on today, Saturday, and tomorrow. That's correct. We're Clark here. County Fairgrounds. And what exit is that off of I-5? It's uh, the 179th Street exit. All right. And I forget what number it Which, is. But, but it's north of Vancouver. Yes. North of uh, the junction of I-5 and I-205. Very oh. easy to find. Oh. And hours? Uh, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. today and 10 to 5 tomorrow. And admission is? Free. Free. With a canned food donation uh, recommended. Okay. And parking is $5. All right. And the big thing is you have over... How many different specialty nurseries? About 80 nurseries. 80 nurseries. That's right. And eight landscape exhibits. So it's the place to go this weekend. Absolutely. Thank you, Mick. You bet.